So I wanted to do a real quick video on how to make sure that you're using the space uh, file size of a particular podcast correctly. Um, you can see here, this, these are all uh, various podcasts that I've uploaded to uh, our own website. But you can see here, this one right here is uh, an hour and five minutes and it's 16.4 megs. Now, a lot of times uh, a hosting environment will allow you to upgrade, upload 20 meg files. And so based on this, you could probably get to an hour and a half almost, and or maybe even, yeah, maybe not a whole hour and a half, uh, hour and 15 minutes, uh, hour and 20 minutes, and you would be at the max um, with this particular sample rate. Um, now, uh, you, sometimes you can open up the hosting account so that it allows more but you also have to remember that sometimes people aren't going to want to download a whole bunch of stuff I mean uh, normally you have different quality based on what kind of uh, what kind of recording it is um, and so a lot of times your device uh, whether it's an iPhone or Android or uh, just a recording on a computer will record in the highest quality possible which is good because your original file is that high quality um, but then we have to decide okay now what quality should be uh, is actually absolutely needed uh, now music uh, if it's music you want high quality but if it's just the spoken word you can actually compress that down quite a bit and not take up a whole lot of space so what I'm going to do is teach you about uh, a, a program called Audacity. This program uh, is, a, is a free program that you can download. You can download, you can see on Windows, Mac, Linux, whatever, and uh, you can actually edit files and you can do it real simply. So what we would do is just click download and then we would see Windows, Mac, Linux. It's real simple. Just click on the Mac and then install it like you would any other program and you're done. So here is what the Audacity window when we first open it looks like. Now I'm going to go ahead and open this sermon. Now I've already compressed this. However, I'm going to use this as an example of, of how to use some of these tools. All right, so here's the sermon. You can see it's an hour and five minutes long. So at this point, uh, what you could do on, on a lot of sermons, you may have a piece at the beginning and a piece at the end that you maybe need to remove. Like I often start recording in the middle of special music, uh, and then I might record through the hymnal because a lot of times after an appeal, you forget to turn it off and you know, you're, you're singing and doing all that stuff. And since nobody in the world wants to hear me sing, we remove both that that beginning special music part and the end uh, hymnal or whatever is there so you would with this a lot of times what I'll do is I'll zoom in so you just click the magnifying glass and then all you have to do is uh, oops oops sorry that was the zoom so I'm gonna zoom back out but then you collect you clicked off the magnifying glass to just the selection tool and then you can select a thing so if I was going to select this and if I just hit the delete button it would delete it done and then so then I would go to the end and I would say okay I need to delete this so there it is and then delete and then it's done okay so that would take care of that uh, another thing we can do is we can do noise correction so noise correction is something where we would use the selection tool and we would select this blank area right here and let's say there's some background noise some hissing or whatever so we would go to effect is a menu and there's something in that menu called noise reduction so noise reduction I've got it selected where it's just a blank area where there might be some hissing or some background noise maybe an air conditioner or something like that and I can just hit get noise profile so it just does that and then it gets noise profile now what I can do is hit command a or if you're on Windows command or control a and that selects all and now I'm gonna go to effect and then noise reduction again except this time I'm gonna set it's step two right I'm gonna re noise reduction reduction by 12 decibels sensitivity 6 and I'm just gonna hit OK and it's going to, uh, to pull all that down and a lot of times it does a pretty good job but uh, it can it's all limited by what you can do that's just a basic tool now the last thing you're gonna want to do is um, you're gonna want to go to file 
and then export audio which also it would be just shift command E or I believe in Windows it's shift control E uh, but in Mac it's shift command E and so it's going to ask you where do you want to export it to what's the name you want to export it to and so we select all that but the most important thing first is to select format we want mp3 file okay we want an mp3 because it's the most commonly used and then we want options now what I always do is I do a variable speed of standard quality is 9 for smaller files okay I don't need it up here unless I'm doing music the spoken word comes through just fine down here at 9 and then I'll hit variable so that way if something gets detected that uh, could need an extra uh, little bit of quality then it'll go ahead and give it some extra quality for just that piece and thus still keep the small file size and then you just hit OK and it exports and and it's done it takes about usually for an hour file two or three minutes and then it exports and then I can upload that to the, the, the system per the other videos so that should pretty much cover it all and uh, if you have any questions just let me know